Hello everybody, I'm HPL from HPL TV and welcome back to a new video. So this has probably been my most requested video in the last month or so and we're finally doing it. Answering stupid questions from the parents of Korra, the official part 2. So I gathered up a bunch of questions and I'm gonna give my answers. And then I have a little surprise at the end. Are terrible 2s actually worse than teenagers? No, because a 2 year old can't reach the liquor cabinet. How can parents prepare kids for financial responsibility when they go away to college so their kids don't end up amassing personal debt while in school? Well, it's easy. You see, in college, alcohol sucks up a lot of money, so I recommend teaching them how to make toilet wine. Not only is it a good financial decision, but it helps them be self-sufficient. Are you confused by some of the slang words that kids are using these days, like woke, shade, finna, or goat? Well, I'd rather have kids than say that than gag me with a spoon, tubular, have a cow, or gnarly. And yes, those are all real slang words from the 1980s. What is an interesting story that you remember from your early teens? Oh, I've been waiting to tell this story. Okay, this story's really messed up, and please hear me out. So this was a few years ago. I think I was either 12, about to turn 13, or I had just turned 13. And up until that point, I thought that jizz was another word for pee. You know, like piss. So I was in the car with my family, and I had to go, and I said, Mom, are we there yet? I'm gonna jizz my pants. And she said, don't say that, you don't know what that means. But I was confident that I knew what it meant, so I said, Mom, I know what it means, and you don't understand, I'm going to jizz my pants. Long story short, everything was cleared up, but how crazy is that? How do you discipline a teen who threatens to piss on you? Honestly... I, I wouldn't know what to do. That might actually be the most gangster thing I've ever heard. I mean, I guess just keep an eye open when you notice they're drinking a lot of water. What should I do when your 13-year-old son has hairy legs? Now, I know this is a typo, but it's so funny because... The typo was made in such a way that it changes the nature of the question just completely. You know that relatable moment when you're just trying to enjoy a night out on the town, but someone's 13-year-old son just has hairy legs and he's walking around and the hair just stretches so far that it's like getting in your soup? It's like, what do you do? Should teenagers be encouraged to self-teach? Yes, especially with driving, but maybe that's already a thing because that's how some of you drive. How do I discourage my teen daughter from blasting K-pop in the house? At that point, I would just kick her out. Like, even if she does stop, do you really want want to live in the same house as a person who blasts k-pop what does because i said so mean now i don't have the textbook definition however according to my parents it means because i said so my daughter is bringing her boyfriend over for the first time how can my wife and I make him feel welcome? Let him control the thermostat. He'll feel very welcome. Would you frown at your 16-year-old daughter dating a 25-year-old guy? No, I'd call the police. What is frowning gonna do? So that's all for the main questions. And I think I'm gonna end this video with a, uh, a little song called What is Wrong With You? And I compiled some of the questions that are either too gross, too ridiculous, or just too stupid for me to answer. And all I could say in response is, what is wrong with you? So, uh, yeah, enjoy that. This song is dedicated to the parents that don't know how to parent, so they go on Quora and think people are gonna, like, give logical answers to their ridiculous questions. Like, learn how to parent. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with your brain to make you say something that would put you in this song? Have you not yet heard of common sense? Cause after reading what your comment says I'm convinced that you're pretty stupid Why would you think it was smart to do this? Like, can you just take a step back for a second and think about it? No, it's not okay to have your child sit on the roof of the car And no, not being able to fit your bike in the car is not an excuse for that, okay? So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Make it make sense, make it make sense, I can't hide a heart in the black tent, I you were off the bullshit.